All right, a number of visitors P to a website in a given week over a one year, one year period is given by this function, where T is the weeks and T is in between one week to 52 weeks because we have 52 weeks in a year. So what's happening? So they're looking at how many people are coming to visit this website. So sometimes the number of uh, number of visitors are increasing. Sometimes it is decreasing. And I think that's what's the, what they're asking for part A and B. Um, over what interval of time during one year period is the number of visitors decreasing or increasing? So in order to answer that, let's find the critical value. Okay, to find the critical value, we're going to need to find the derivative and set it equal to zero. So let me open up a tablet and start writing. Okay, so the function is p of t equals 116 plus t minus 84 times e to the 0 0.02 t. I'm going to find the derivative of this, set it equal to zero, and find some critical values. Okay, um, eh, it's not the prettiest function, but we'll try. So what's the derivative? 116 is just constant, so that's gone. That's going to give us zero. I see a product. Do you see a product? I see this, um, this t minus 84 times e times 0, uh, e to the 0 0.02 t power. So I'm going to do a product rule, OK? I'm going to do a product rule. Um, let t minus 84 be the first term that's getting multiplied first yeah and then t prime will be just one right because derivative of t is one 84 gives a zero how about the second term the second term is e to the 0 0.02 t g prime is 0 0.02 times e to the 0 0.02 t okay so we got all these pieces identified let me do the product rule product rule says to take the derivative of a product do first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first so let's put those together t minus 84 comes first and then I have 0 0.02 times e to the 0 0.02 teeth power plus, now I'm over here now, g times, g is this, times f prime of just 1. All right, it's a miss, but let's see if I can simplify this before I set this equal to 0. Um, I notice that they both have this e term. So let me factor this out, okay? So I have e to the 0 0.02 t outside, and inside I have, um, hey, while we are at this, how about we just distribute these two and write this as 0 0.02 t minus, now I need a calculator for this little uh, multiplication. Hold on. I'm multiplying 84 times 0.02. Where's my calculator? 82, 84 times 0 0.02. And that comes out to be 1. I, I don't believe it. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Let me try again. 84 times 0 0.02. Oh. Okay, I guess it is. Oh, okay. So it's like 0.2. It's like 2% of 84. All right, I'll believe it. 1.68. 1 1.68. So that's that, and then I have my plus one, right? If you're wondering where did that come from, right there. Okay, so let's see if I can simplify this any further before I set it equal to zero. Um, e raised to the 0 0.02t, that's getting multiplied by 0.02t. And if I combine these two like terms, I will get plus 0 0.68. All right, let's set this equal to zero. And we're doing this to find critical values. So when will this equal zero? And when will this 
equal zero. The first one will never equal zero because there's no way to raise e to any power and get zero, right? Like if you multiply e by itself, however many how how many times can you get zero? Uh, not really. You can't really do that, right? Um, so we're gonna have to throw this out. But let's say that I didn't realize that, and I try to take natural log of both sides. So if I take natural log of e to the zero point zero two t, and that equals natural log of zero, and then at this point you will probably realize our left side is zero point zero two t equals. Now take a look. What will happen if you type in? natural log of zero in the calculator. I'll show you what happens. All right, there's no scientific natural log of zero is undefined. So it's because there's no way to raise, like this is what they're asking, take a look. E to the blink power equals zero. That's not possible because if you do E times E, or e times e times e, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you multiply e by itself, um, there's no way to uh, make zero. So this equation doesn't have an answer because this is undefined. So this part didn't help us at all, didn't give us a critical value. But hey, don't worry, we have another one right here. So let's solve this. If I subtract this number from both sides. I'm getting a little worried because, oh, hey, thank goodness. Because I was about to say, T stands for number of weeks. How the heck are we gonna get a negative T? And this is my mistake. You probably realized as well, uh, like above here, when I did negative 1.68 plus one, I do not get plus, 1.68 up up plus 0.68 that should have been negative so um sorry i sometimes make mistakes like that okay so it should be 0 0.02 t minus 0.68 so if you add 0.68 to both sides ta -da, that's what you get and let's divide both sides by 0 0.02 we are about to find how many weeks um at how many weeks we have a critical value. So let me divide um, 0 0.68 divided by divided by 0 0.02. After 34 weeks, something will happen. So t equals 34 is the critical value. So what I want to do is I want to check the sign to the left and sign to the right of 34, a sign of the first derivative to see if it's increasing or decreasing. So um, let me write down the first deriv uh, the derivative here. P prime of t is e raised to the 0 0.02t times 0.02t minus 0 0.68. So that's what I need to plug in um two different numbers so let me pick something to the left of 34 i will let x or t equals 30 okay and for the right side let me use t equals um i, can, I guess i can use 40 because we have 52 weeks in a year so 40 is just fine i guess you can do 35 too but i just use those okay so what is p prime of 30 first that will be e raised to the 0 0.02 times 30 times 0 0.02 times 30 minus 0 0.68. All right, let me plug this in. I really care if it's positive or negative. Okay, that's all I care about. 0 0.02 times 30, get down and do 0 0.02 times 30 minus 0 0.68. Look at that, that came out to be, whoopsie daisies. Ah, I saw it, it was a negative number, but somehow I hit backspace.
it is a negative number. It doesn't really matter what that number came out to be. It, I care that it came out to be a negative number. So what does that mean? Um, this means before 34 weeks, before 34 weeks, the number of visitors to this website was just going down. But I guess something happened. What happened after 34 weeks? I don't know, maybe Squid Game happened and people are visiting the website. I think it's going to be increasing after that point on. But let me just go ahead and plug in 40 now. What will happen after week 40, uh, week 34? Look at that. It's a small number, but uh, hey, it doesn't matter. It's a positive number. So I'm going to say to the right side of 34, the number of visitors is increasing. So let's answer the question here. I'll say the number of... In, uh, Visitors is decreasing over the interval. Um, let me see. From one to because we we're talking about number of weeks, so we're not gonna say negative infinity, right? That makes sense, right? We're not talking about negative infinity um, of weeks. So I'll say from week one to thirty-four, it is decreasing, and from thirty-four on to fifty-two. Because 52 is, um, is the maximum, right? So 34 to 52, it is increasing. The critical point is um, 34 comma, I don't know, what is the Y value? I need to figure, because they wanted critical point. That means we now need to plug in this 34 into the function, the original function. We need to plug in 34 here, okay? So I'll do that using my calculator. I'll say it is 116 plus 34 minus 30, uh, 8 minus 84 times e raised to the 0 0.02 times 34. It came out to be 17.3. 17.3. Oh, they said round to three decimal places as needed. So I'll go ahead and say 17.0306. So what's happening is, what's the unit of the visitors? Is it really 17 people? So like at week 34, like only 30, 17 some people are visiting this website. <laughs> All right. The critical point means that the number of visitors was minimized. And I say minimized because, look, it was decreasing and it hit that 34. And then after that, it's going up. So uh, the number of uh, the, uh, the, webs the, the visitors to this website was minimized at week 34. Okay, so nobody was visiting this website. And 34 was their worst day, worst week, um, at week 34. And they had approximately 17 visitors. So, yeah. But after that, it went up. But this problem, I think, was difficult because of the function. You guys know how to find increasing, decreasing interval using um, first derivative test, right? This one was more difficult just because we had to go and revisit the uh, re revisit exponential function and how to come up with the derivative of those exponential functions. So um, I hope this was helpful. This is about 15 minutes. I'll go ahead and post this on Canvas for everyone.